By adding dimensions, sketch elements maintain the specified size when other geometry updates. These dimensions can be applied to any sketch element by using the single Sketch Dimension command. Before I begin adding dimensions to this sketch, I'll show you where the Sketch Dimension command is found. It can be accessed from the Create pull-down menu, which corresponds to the keyboard shortcut, D, and from the Sketch marking menu, which corresponds to the gesture, down and to the left. With the command active, I'll begin adding dimensions. First, I'll define the length of this line at the bottom. Whenever a sketch entity needs to be dimensioned, the workflow is always the same. First you select the geometry needed to create the dimension, then click a point on the canvas to place the dimension, and enter a numerical value, completed by pressing Enter. Notice that even after I create the dimension, the command remains active, as is indicated by the icon attached to the cursor. Dimensions can also be used to specify the distance between two points in the model. For instance, if I want to specify the distance between the endpoints of these two horizontal lines, I can click on each point, then place the location of the callout, and give it a value, such as 85 millimeters, then press Enter. Dimensions can be added to specify angles between lines. This requires for me to select two sketch elements before I place the callout. For instance, if I select both lines in the lower left corner, notice that the angle is defined based on where I place the callout, between the lines I selected, on the exterior of one of the lines, on the exterior of the other line, or between the projection of both lines. For now, I'll position the dimension between the lines, and give it a value of 60 degrees. Now that I've dimensioned a few linear elements, I'd like to show you how to dimension curved sketch elements, such as this arc and this circle. To dimension an arc, simply click on the arc itself, then place the dimension and give it a value, such as 30 millimeters. I'd like to mention here that the dimension applied to arcs defines its radius value, indicated by the R shown in front of the dimension. Now I'd like to dimension the inner circle. All I have to do is click on the edge of the circle, place the dimension, and add a value such as 25 millimeters. In contrast to arcs, circles are dimensioned using their diameter as opposed to the radius, indicated by the diameter symbol in front of the dimension. The most important aspect of dimensions is that they are parametric, meaning that they control the sketch geometry and can be changed at any time. For example, I can change the radius of the arc by double-clicking on it, then entering a new value such as 25 millimeters, and the sketch updates once I hit the Enter key. Any of the other dimensions can be adjusted as well, such as changing this angular dimension from 60 degrees to 45 degrees. Dimensions keep sketch elements the proper size and position and allow for extended control over the model geometry. And because each dimension is parametric, it can be changed at any time, allowing for the model to update as desired.